Welcome back. We've spent the last few days talking about different properties of exponents. We've talked about the product property, where you're multiplying exponents. We've talked about the quotient property, where you're dividing monomials with exponents. And today we're going to talk about the power property. And that's when you have a monomial raised to a higher power. Um, I've got a few examples for us to look at. Let's see if we can look at those examples and come up with a rule about the power property of exponents. Here's the first example. In the first example, we have a monomial, y times x squared, and all of that raised to the second power. Okay, so I think it's important that we um, look at this and understand what it's talking about, what it's saying. So in this problem, what we're really saying is we have... Whoops, sorry about that. We have, here we go, y times x times x. And then raised to the second power, so times y times x times x. That's really what we're saying here. Y times x squared raised to the second power is really y times x times x times y times x times x. So now we can use our product rule as we're looking at this, and we can look at the y's and see that we have y times y, so our answer is going to be y squared. And then we look at the x's, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's, so we're going to have x to the fourth power. So this will be our solution, or this will be our simplified version of, of this. Okay, when we simplify that, we get y squared x to the 4. Okay, so when you're looking at this, you can kind of look for patterns. And really, in a way, what we're doing is we're taking this 2, this exponent up here, and we're distributing it to the y. That's why it way of y to the second. And we're distributing this to the x, and so 2 times 2 gives us our 4. Okay, hopefully that makes a little more sense as we look at the second example. Here's another example. Alright, in this example we're getting a little more complex here. We have 3x to the third times y to the fourth, and all of that squared. Okay, so again, if we had to write this whole thing out, let's write it out for this first time here and, and look at it. What we're saying is we have 3 times x times x times x, okay, times y times y times y times y, and then all of that squared, so times itself again, so times 3 times x times x times x times y times y times y times y man that's a lot okay so when we look to simplify this thing now again we're just going to use that product rule we're going to take our coefficients or our numbers our threes and we're going to combine those three times three that's nine Okay, then we're going to take a look at our x's, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's, so we'll have x to the 6th power, and then we look at our y's, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 y's, so we'll have y to the 8th power, and so this will be our simplified version of that expression. Okay. Again, if you look at this, if you look for the patterns, we've got this exponent of 2, and we're distributing it to this 3, so really we're saying 3 squared, or 3 times 3, which gives us this 9, and then we're saying the x, our exponent was 3, and we're raising that to the second power, so 3 times 2 gives us this 6, x to the 6th power, and same thing, we're distributing it to the y's also, and y was already to the 4th, and now we're raising that to the 2nd power, so 4 times 2 gives us this 
y to the eighth. Okay, so I think it's smart to probably write down all of this so you understand what's happening in the problem. And then once you understand that, you can look for this shortcut where you kind of distribute this power to everything that's in the parentheses. You need to distribute it to your coefficient and then to each variable. Okay, so I have one last example for us to look at. Hopefully this one helps you for your homework. All right, in this last example now, I'm talking about 3 times x to the 4th times y to the 3rd all raised to the fourth power. Okay, I'm not going to write all this thing out because my hand would be tired by the time I wrote all this out. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for that pattern. I'm going to look for this exponent here. And I'm going to distribute it to my constant, and then to my x variable, and then to my y variable. Okay, so let's do this constant first, or this coefficient. Okay, what I'm really saying is 3 raised to the fourth power. 3 raised to the fourth power. Okay, and let's just leave it at that for now. Then let's move on to our x. Okay, and I had x to the fourth, and then I'm raising that to the fourth. So really what that is is x to the fourth times 4. Okay, and we'll leave it at that for right now. And then lastly, we've got this y variable, and it was raised to the third. Now we're raising it again to the fourth. So my y variable is going to be y to the third times the fourth. Okay, so now we can kind of simplify this that I have in red. We can simplify this to blue. If you raise 3 to the fourth power, this term here, you have to be very careful because what a lot of students want to do is say, oh, it's 12. 3 times 4 is 12. But it's not 3 times 4. It's 3 to the fourth power. So what we're really saying is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if you punch that all into your calculator, you end up with 81. Okay, so 3 to the fourth power, that's 81. Next, we go x raised to the fourth times the fourth power. So really, we're going to have x raised to the 16th power. Okay, that's this term here. And then finally we're going to have our y, and our y is y to the third power times 4, and so when we simplify that, what we're really getting is y raised to the 12th power. 3 times 4 is 12, so we're raised to the 12th power. So this then is the solution, or this is the simplification of this that I was given. I simplified that and I got 81 x to the 16th power times y to the 12th power. Alright, well I hope, I hope that this helps you on your homework assignment. Um, if you get to your homework assignment and it looks tough and you have some questions, come back and watch this video again. You can just look at specific examples from this video to help you out. I hope it comes easy to you, and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.